this session I'm going to just uh, briefly cover pivot tables. We're not going to go too much in depth with them, but I just want to make sure that I mention them and that you are somewhat acquainted with using them. Let's say that we have here some data in an Excel workbook here. Pivot tables are fast and powerful way to analyze data. So basically you can summarize it. It's also used in business intelligence on determining and making decisions and things of that nature. So what it allows you to do is to look at data from all kinds of different angles and sort through it and manipulate it in all kinds of different ways. So the way it works is that you select the data and then what you do is you click on insert and then you choose pivot table. So you choose pivot table on the drop down here and then you can create what's a new worksheet. At this point you click OK and now it's going to build your table depending on how you filter and how you sort things out here, for example. So let's say I want a recruiter here. Notice all the recruiters are posted. Now let's say that I want to see the contract. And notice they have a contract, yes or no. Let's say I don't want the contract there, but I want that as one of the filters. So I leave that alone as a filter. Now I go, let's say, under the start date. Notice it gives me the date, then the job number, and the location. So notice it's organized in this way by name of the person, the location, and so on. But suppose that I don't want it that way, it doesn't meet my needs for one reason or another. You can simply change that. So let's say we don't want the date here. We want to put the date on the very top as the first. Actually, not the date, but the location. Now notice it's uh, summarizing and resorting the data based on that location. So we have Portland, San Francisco, and so on. Now you have also FTE, yes or no. So you could use these. Now notice up here, under contracts, you could have yes or no. So you have these drop downs. So you click on yes, and you want to see only the yes contracts. And now you have the locations, you have the names of the persons you have the dates and so then you can go back here and add additional fields like the salary level and notice the salary level it goes for 75 and so on now the salary level you could uh, go over here and put the salary level as one of your filters so notice now that I chose this as a filter I could go and say I want the salary level to only 55 and then click OK and now it lists me only the people that meet that criteria but that yet the layout is depending on what you're looking for. So again basically you just have to tinker with the data here and notice as you move things around then this data gets displayed in a variety of different other ways. So let's say I wanted to date now first. Now notice it's sorted a different way. So it's a very powerful way of looking at things and analyzing data from all kinds of different angles. And it's a matter of actually playing with it. So, so again, it's powerful. Try it for yourself if you have data at some point that you are analyzing and looking at it from all kinds of ways.